So what do you do while you're waiting? If you're anything like me, um, I love to fill space while I'm waiting. I don't wait well oftentimes, so I'll fill it with anything from social media, quickly open my phone, uh, games, uh, food, TV shows. I, I don't like to be bored. Uh, I constantly like to be uh, entertained or to fill my time with something. Uh, I don't wait well. We as a society don't wait well. We don't rest well either. Uh, now, Jewish custom and practice during Jesus' time, uh, they had this day of preparation that came before the Sabbath. And what they would do on that day of preparation was while they were waiting for the Sabbath day to come where they could rest, they would spend this day preparing their households and their families and their, their jobs so that they could take that day off and rest. They actively waited. So today is Saturday. Uh, we've just celebrated Good Friday, but Easter is still to come. So what do we do while we're waiting? Uh, in John chapter 19, starting in verse 38, it says this, After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him permission. So he came and took away his body. Nicodemus also, who earlier had come to Jesus by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds in weight. So they took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen cloths and with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb which no one had yet been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, since the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. So in this time, the disciples, Nicodemus, Joseph, they didn't know it, but they were waiting for Sunday, just like we are. But in this time, they didn't just sit back, do nothing, fill that time idly with uh, social media. You know, they didn't have that then, but uh, they didn't just fill this time with uh, wasting activities. You know, today, uh, I read a statistic that said the, av the average human today will spend five years waiting in line. We will spend five years of our lives waiting for things. So how can we use that time well? How can we use this Saturday between the cross and the empty tomb well? Well, I believe we can follow uh, the pattern of Joseph and Nicodemus here. They actively waited. They did something. They did the best that they knew in that moment. They honored Jesus' body. They prepared themselves. They prepared the tomb then they went home and I'm assuming that they would went on and prepared their lives and their families for the day of the Sabbath to come. So today, let's actively wait. Let's prepare for Sunday. Let's fix our eyes on the hope of the cross and what that means as we eagerly await the empty tomb that comes tomorrow. Jesus, I thank you that we have this gift of waiting but God, I pray that we learn to use it well. God, that we wouldn't just fill that time with things that don't matter. But God, that we would wait in such a way that would prepare us for what is to come. And that glorious day when we get to celebrate the empty tomb and new life given to us. In Jesus' name, amen.